Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to another edition of MJ Every Day, a dieting based episode for you guys today. A little bit of a change of scenery. I'm sitting on the back seat of the Team Massive Joe's H2 Hummer here with my good man, Pete Hartwig, natural Mr. Olympia, natural Mr. Olympia classic physique, and now IFBB classic physique competitor. He's done it all, done it all. Uh, And we are gonna talk to you guys about diet adherence, or in layman's terms, I guess, how to stick to a diet. Now, we were just having a a quick discussion about this off camera, and I was like, man, we gotta bust out the camera and make an episode of MJ every day about this. Uh, So, man, go for it, diet adherence. Yeah, so as we we were just talking about, um, we were just discussing, you know, diet strategies and stuff that I like to do to, um, during a comp prep, but not just during a comp prep, but um, for some of the strategies that I apply to a lot of the clients that I help just to get in shape, really. And one of the primary strategies that I use is related to being more resourceful with your willpower. Instead of just trying to sort of think, oh, harden up, stick to your diet and stuff like that, be a bit more proactive in terms of constructing an environment that's more conducive to sticking to that diet. So things like um, making sure your meal prep's done and everything, um, so that it reduces you know decisions that you have to make throughout the day, so that um, everything's pre-planned and you're going to stick to it. Also things like social support and communication, and you know if you have a partner and stuff like that. One of the things I find with a lot of people is that um, some of the reasons that they break the diet is because they might you know be 100% committed, but then. By the time they go out with their friends and stuff like that, someone offers them a drink or whatever and all of a sudden they've had 10 drinks kind of thing. That sort of stuff as well. So just just being sort of resourceful with um, uh, how you sort of construct your environment in terms of being able to stick to the diet rather than just sort of giving someone a plan and sort of saying, okay, here it is. Because a lot of people sort of, I think generally know what to do, particularly if they've given a plan. So it's making sure that people sort of have that adherence to, to stick to it and, and follow it through as well. I think like what, what I see, man, is is a lot of people where they fall down with diets, and let's put let's put the whole the whole argument about picking a diet that's right for your lifestyle to the side. Let's just say, look, you found a diet that you want to give a shot, and let's say that you know it does kind of fit the lifestyle that you want to lead. I find that a lot of people you know, like you said, they know what they have to do to stick to the diet, whether it's keto or intermittent fasting or bro diet or flexible diet or whatever it is. And a lot of people understand the preparation aspect as well. So they understand that, you know, they have to prepare, they have to, you know, prep their meals or or put themselves in a situation, depending on what diet it is, where they are prepared to follow that diet. But a lot of times where they fall down is that situation where they're in a a social setting and they might give in to peer pressure or they've got you know a partner for example that's not following the same diet and they kind of feel pressured to uh you know to suit what their partner is doing in terms of their diet and i feel like that's where you know a lot of people kind of fall down is where there's i guess there's friction between what they're trying to do with their diet and what people around them are doing with their diets, you know what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. So what, what's your kind of advice with, to, to people about how to get through that situation? Um, well, first, first up, I think communication is a really important thing. Sure. I guess if, um, if your friends, family, partner, and stuff like that know what you're trying to achieve, yeah. um, mo- most of the time they'll, they'll respect that yeah. and, and that they'll want to um, help you do that. Um, but if you sort of if you don't make it clear to them how important that is for you and just planning things out in advance and being like oh you know I've got a party on this weekend or whatever yeah. just being like okay cool this is what I'm allowed to eat and I'm going to and I'm you know I'm going to do that um, having like sort of contingencies as well so I don't know let's say you've got a job or something where you have to travel and that sort of stuff yeah. having sort of non-perishable sources of food yep. can be like you know on the go like protein Yep. oats is like a really good go-to that I use like you know a scoop of protein and some oats because you know you don't have to refrigerate it and it's pretty much just there so you can pretty much take it everywhere and then you have no excuses for missing a meal and eating something else mm-hmm. um, yeah so those are a few strategies that you know I personally like to like to recommend so it's almost like preparing for the unpreparable yeah if yeah that, if that's even a word <laughs> yeah yeah Pre- pretty much planning planning contingencies basically yeah yep. and then you know c- communicating well with the people around you um, I think yeah is is really key but also understanding that the sort of willpower is is not infinite 
Mm-hmm. Like so many people just uh, maybe on a maybe on a conscious level they recognise this, but the way they behave, they don't always behave that way. Yeah. Um, and so you know, you're less likely to stick to a diet if you've had like I don't know a stressful, really draining day. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, hard training session. You get home from work. Um, you know, tired. Tired. Your friend yeah. you're supposed to hang out with and chill sort of cancels on you or whatever, and you kind of yeah. just like you know what you know I'm just gonna go eat a pizza or something yeah. like that. So, Emotionally eat. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. all that yeah. sort of stuff. Yeah. So, um, yeah, ha- having having those sorts of um, contingencies in place. So, yeah, that happens to me actually. So sometimes I, well, <laughs> yeah, well, I'll actually um, try and associate like specific um, rooms and stuff where where I'll eat my meal and then pretty much immediately like go in and, and get into something because, you know, when I'm when I'm dieting and I find it really hard to sort of adhere to my diet and yeah. stuff like that, yeah. um, I might finish my food and then I'll just be kind of, you know, bored or, you know, craving some sort of, just craving something yeah, yeah. and kind of just like, if I find if I occupy my mind on a different task, it sort of gets me out of that mindset and um, after 10 minutes on that task, you know, whether it's watching a movie or just, you know, chilling out, playing some video games or just, you know, chatting on Facebook or whatever, it's sort of, um, after 10 minutes in, I'm sort of not thinking about food anymore and yeah. I'm doing the other thing. Absolutely. Well, there you go, guys. Some tips and tricks on how to stick to your diet or achieve diet adherence. As always, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on, both on your mobile, your cell phone and your desktop PC so you don't miss a beat when it comes to the Massive Joe's YouTube channel until tomorrow coming to you from massivejoes.com stay massive thank you for tuning into this video we hope you enjoyed watching don't forget to check out our latest upload and our recommended video and be sure to subscribe to the massive joe's youtube channel to stay up to date with all of our latest uploads